Alright, what's up everyone? This is going to be a video showing off the Connect interface. So basically, the Connect dashboard. So, Connect doesn't work on the normal dashboard. Um, the only thing different is it shows a little video of you in the side over there. Um, basically, the only feature that works is voice recognition and it only does one command. So if I say, Xbox, Connect, it will bring me right to the Connect menu. I can also wave and it will bring me there too. So right now, as you can see, I signed out to show you a certain feature. So if I take my hat off and wave, um, it's sensing my face right now, and it signs me in. So the reason I had to take my hat off, you can't have any obstructions, so hats, uh, sunglasses, or I guess if you're wearing a mask or something, of course, uh, you can take that off and it will recognize you. Um, so this is the Connect uh, Hub, as they call it, not Connect Dashboard. Um, so there's basically three pages. There might be more later, but at launch there's only three. And Netflix isn't on here, which is kind of strange. Um, so basically this is sort of your settings area. Um, you got your friends, achievements, avatar, editor, connect tuner, connect ID. That's, your, that's where you got to do the facial recognition. And then you have sign in. Uh, to, you could also sign, it's also right there. But you can also sign in, have multiple... Uh, account signed in and it'll be good. Now it looks like the cursor is really um, laggy. It looks like there's a lot of latency to it but if you try it out in person you'll know that there's not really any latency at all. It looks like that in the videos. Um, I mean but it's really it's really nice. It's barely any latency. I was nervous before I got Connect because I saw all the videos and it looked really bad and um, so I was super nervous that it was going to be like super laggy and it was going to be almost unusable, but it's not that at all. Um, so as you can see, you got the, some standard features inside Xbox, play disc up in top left, ESPN, and stuff like that. So if I go to, um, let's see, let's go to Xbox, ESPN. So anything on the screen at that moment, you can um, you can use voice recognition for. So it, it's launching ESPN. If um, if I was on that screen, I could also like say play disc or something, or inside Xbox, or I can go to the next screen and go to last uh, say last F Xbox, last FM stuff like that. Um, so right now, I'm at ESPN and. Usually when you launch a new app, you have to, uh, like, wave at it again to get it, like, syncing to you. So basically, it's just a normal ESPN uh, app that's on the normal 360, or, like, just regu using it regularly. Uh, just, it's designed for Connect now. Um, so, Xbox, Connect Hub. Yes. And it'll bring me back to the Connect Hub. So the voice recognition is actually really smooth. Um, you don't have to speak like super pronounce your voice or project your voice, <laughs> um, or you don't, and you also don't have to pronunciate your words like super clearly. I got those two <laughs> mixed up right there. Um, and you can just speak at normal volume, and uh, and it'll be good. Also, if you walk off the screen. Like right there, see what it did? I don't know, you probably couldn't see that. Actually, I don't think it did, but uh, like I had my hat on, so it didn't even recognize me. Um, so, I mean, that's basically it. I'll show you another feature. Last FM is basically the same, you just move your hand around the control and stuff. Um, in Zoom, you have, uh, you have sort of some different features. You can access the Zoom Pass and everything like normal, and you just drag to go to the next song and stuff like that. But I'll show you two features on here. So if you go to, oh, wait, wait. Um, if you go to, let's see, let's go to music, and then when that pulls up, go to Add Smart DJ. It auto start playing whatever you had playing before, and this is the um. Let me turn this down. So I don't know how well y'all can hear. But, uh, this is a letter input. So basically what you do is you take your hand and go wherever on the alphabet you want. 
go to that section, it'll pull up like seven letters. You can also scroll in this mode. Um, but basically when you want to select a letter, you just like hover over it and drag up. So, um, I, so yeah. Alright, now, if you go out, you go back to here, it's got a video library and I'll show you the video features. Um, also, in music and in video, you can use a, you can use voice commands to say like pause, play, fast forward, all that stuff. Um, but in this, what I want to show you is a video, you could scrub through the video just by moving your hand like that. And um, when you're at a spot that you want, you just put, pull it down and it'll do a bit, uh, make it big and play it. So basically, I'll go over here, get back there, and then you can do this to pause it, or you can say Xbox, play. Xbox, play. Sometimes it doesn't wreck it or sense you at first. That doesn't happen that often, at least for me. Usually it picks me up right away. So, let's get out of this. And, uh, Xbox, Connect Hub. Yes. So, anytime you're in an app or a game or something and you say to go to Connect Hub, um, it'll ask you, are you sure? So you don't, like, mess up your progress or stuff like that. And so then you just got to say yes or no. It's not that big of a hassle or anything. Um, but, I mean, that's basically it. There's not really, other than the dragging your hand around to certain things, there's not really unique features of it other than the voice recognition, the letter input, and the video scrubbing and stuff like that. This is just for the interface. I'll do, like, games and stuff. Next video, like, right after this, I'll be recording it. And so I'll catch y'all later. Peace.